welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. So this is a Sunday short, which is just a quick video to give you some basic information about a topic in Farming Simulator 19. Today, we're gonna go over oilseed radish. Oilseed radish is a crop type in Farming Simulator 19 that is, I think, highly underutilized. So what happens with oilseed radish? Essentially, all you have to do is using a regular seeder, you're gonna plant a field with oilseed radish, and then you're gonna cultivate it into the ground, and that's gonna give you a fertilizer state. Oil seed radish only has two growth states, the first one being just you seeding it, and the second one being it completely growth. And what you're seeing on screen right now is an example of oil seed radish in its final growth state. When it's in that state, all you have to do is cultivate it into the ground, and then you will get a fertilizer state on your field. There are a couple ways that you could put oilseed radish into a field. The first being uh, the simplest and most obvious way, and what I've kind of already mentioned is just using a regular seeder or direct drill seeder to drill it into a cultivated area. Another option you have if you have a crop that has uh, withered, you can just go ahead and add it in using or over top of the withered crop. A third option that you do have as well is you can actually put it in using the one of the weeders in base game. And I'll show you that weeder in the store later on. Another important note is make sure using the Y key on PC, you select the oilseed radish on uh, your seeder or your weeder or whatever you're using to put it into the ground to make sure you're actually choosing the correct crop type. The final piece of knowledge you need to make oilseed radish work for you is that you have to cultivate it, plow it, or subsoil it into a field in order to get the fertilizer state. You can see here on this field, there is no fertilizer state, but it has oilseed radish in it. Now that we are cultivating it in, we can go back into the menu after we finish cultivating it in, and you'll see now in the menu, there is a fertilizer state now on that field because we cultivated in, or plowed in, or subsoiled in the oilseed radish. Now, with oilseed radish, the big question you might ask is why Why use it? It seems like it's more steps, it's much easier just to throw out a fertilizer state using a solid fertilizer spreader or a liquid fertilizer spreader. Well, the reason being, it's actually a little bit cheaper. Um, if you're not worried about, obviously, the reasons of such as it is, technically speaking, an organic fertilizer, but if you're not worried about that, since that really doesn't matter in Farming Simulator 19, um, cost is actually something you should consider. So, an example of that, Field 31 here that we're using on um, Felsbren, field 31 is 1.58 hectares. So if we look at the base cost of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, and seeds in game, um, take a look at a couple numbers here. So in order to fertilize this field, one fertilizer state, it would take 342 liters of solid fertilizer. It would take 461 liters of liquid fertilizer. So the cost if you for solid fertilizer, if you look at it being in base game, $1,920 per 1,000 liters, and liquid fertilizer being $1,600 per 1,000 liters, then to use solid fertilizer, it's gonna cost you $656 and liquid fertilizer 737 to do this field. Now, if you look at the seed um, cost, so seeds are $900 per 1,000 liters. However, if you're doing oil seed radish on this 1.58 hectare field, you're only gonna need 158 liters of seeds, which is only gonna cost you $142. So over the course of a big field, that can actually make a difference. However, there are some more things to consider with that. First off, I would say one of the benefits to oilseed radish is you likely already have a seeder. You may not have a fertilizer sprayer or a fertilizer spreader. That's a whole nother piece of equipment that you don't have to have. So you're probably gonna be able to get a seeder, especially if you're starting from scratch or something like that, it might be a better option to go for you. However, you do also have to consider the worker cost. If you're using a small seeder, it might take you a lot longer for a worker if you're not doing it by hand in order to do this, and fuel is gonna be more and such like that as well. Um, another thing to consider is the time. You have to wait for this crop to grow up a state and then be cultivated back into the ground, so it might actually take you a little bit more time and stuff like that. So these are different things to consider. It's just another option. I don't use it a whole lot. However, I do use it, I will say, on seasons. Seasons, the game requires three fertilizer states, so this is an easy first one to put in. All right, the final thing I have for you guys is kind of a way to help maximize oil seed rash. So first off, I want to say one thing that does not work is if you haven't planted, it grows up, oil seed rash is ready to go, and instead of cultivating it in, you decide to direct drill seed it in. You can direct drill it into the ground and get a, uh, a seed in, however, you can't add an additional fertilizer state. So if you have a seeder that does fertilizer and seeds, you can't add an additional fertilizer state by direct drill seeding with a fertilizer in the tank of the seeder. However, what you can do is if when you're planting oilseed radish, you use a seeder that also fertilizes, you get a fertilizer state when you're planting the oilseed radish. Then when you cultivate it in, you'll get two fertilizer states, as you can see um, on screen. Now if we go into the store menu, we can go under seeders, 
And under Cedars, you're going to see down there you have the oil seed radish symbol at the bottom corner. If we go over to Weeders, this is the one weeder in game that has that oil seed radish symbol down in the bottom corner and can be used to apply oil seed radish. Now in order to get the oil seed radish into the ground, you can either use a cultivator as shown here, or you can use a disc harrow, which is basically a cultivator, or you can obviously plow it in, or you can use a power harrow, or you can use a subsoiler to go ahead and get that extra fertilizer state off of your oil seed radish. Well, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope this video was helpful in some way for you. If you guys did enjoy this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.